some quiet. How did the two of them lose? At a dance, I think. Okay. You know each other anywhere now? It's cold there. Fast forward a little bit in the future. You got on the house carriage ride. And you got off the house carriage ride. Where are you now? Describe the surroundings. Mm -hmm. Is it a town? Um, it's a nice house. It's pretty big. There's an American flag. I think, I 
think they're like, I don't think I can have kids. So that's, I have cats instead. How come you don't have any kids? Um, I, I'm reproductively challenged. I I wanted kids more than he did, but we ended up adopting instead because we couldn't have kids. So I sort of like talked him into it. What's your kid's name? time with my children. I go for walks. <laughs> and I walk them to school. I think it's Massachusetts. What else do you see that you find most meaningful? Children playing like after school. Mm -hmm. They play like hopscotch. Mm -hmm. And um, there's some cars. I'd like to garden. you back to this life. When you come back to this life and you wake up and the great and then refresh, you find that you have learned a lot from today's session. Everything that you see, you hear, you have special meaning to the life that you live in right now. Everything that you see, that you hear, that you experience, will give you that is nice of who you are and 
where you want to go in life. And they would have a special, to hold a special key to the kind of answer that you're holding for, that you're looking for in this life. I find it very easy to connect to your past life experiences. I find it very easy to use the resources from your past life to open up doors of your current life. I would like you to picture yourself on the little boat, gently drifting, drifting back to this life. You can see the sign again as it's beneath you. Past the sun. you find a greater sense of confidence, assurance, and well-being flowing throughout your mind and your body. You find yourself connecting to the energy of this earth, connecting to the sky and the earth, connecting to the energy of the mountains, the stream, the ocean and the lake. Find yourself connecting back to all the life energy of the forest, the plants and flowers and grass. Connecting back to the energy of all the animals in the world. The birds, the fish, the life energy of the people around you. You find what you experience as a shy person can be just left in the past. You can move forward as a confident person. You find it very easy to be able to control your emotion. If you wish to open up your emotion to another person, you can find it very easy to do so. You find your unconscious mind much able to know who to trust and who not to trust. And your instinct will be, pre will be precise instinct is going to guide you to your emotions and to your interpersonal communication ability. When you come back to this room, you feel like you just left for the last 12 hours. You will be full of life, full of energy, really relaxed, calm, totally in control of the mind, the thoughts, the feelings, the actions. Three, two, whenever you're ready, one. How are you doing? I can't see anything. <laughs> uh, it's okay, just look, look at me. Don't look, 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 look at the light. Okay. Um, tell me, how do you feel about this session? Um, Good. There's like, there's a lot of things coming to me at once. Like, um, like you know that one part where I went down and saw like that boat with the dragon thing, and then like all of a sudden like it was almost like I was in a different life because there was like the purple and it was clearly different attire I had on. So it was like it was it was hard to try to grasp one or the other, which one I should grasp because I wanted to like spend more time in. The, the life with like the castle, but I was having a hard time getting back there. Mm -hmm. So, and, uh, you know, it can be like hard because I, I was trying like to get the names and stuff and like where I am and all this concrete information, but I think because I really wanted to, it was like kind of harder to get it, you know. That's true. But it was still, it was still really interesting, because, um, you know, like some of the mannerisms I did, like, 
the whole the whole punk kid thing, <laughs> which was really humorous. But just uh, like in this life, like I'm like a really big kid at heart. Like I love like playing like kid games and board games and just like hide and seek and like goofy things like that. Right. So it's most like like that part of me that really grew up. You know. What do you think? What do you say mean to the to the era right now? What? Like what does I mean how does how do you find meaning in what you say? Um, well with with that just kind of like who I am, like I think maybe I don't know, maybe that person like I mean I was clearly like a princess or something, like that was really clear to me, but um, it seems like I had issues with uh, my mom kind of forcing me to grow up and I didn't want to mm -hmm. because I was a kid. But um, this life now, it could possibly be why like I enjoy like the like the little kid part of me so much, mm -hmm. which is really interesting. But um, do you own a monkey? No. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, monkeys kind of creep me out. <laughs> so it's really, it was really funny when I saw that, and that was like my baby. Like I, everywhere I went in that life, that monkey was with me. Like I didn't say it all the time, but like everywhere I went, it was there. <laughs> so maybe I'm supposed to get a monkey. <laughs> you never know. <laughs> But, um, it's not off by going to the zoo first before you pull a fortune. Yeah. Yeah, monkey accessories. Yeah, right. But, um, you know, like, that's another thing. I was, like, that life was, um, I saw these things like, like monkeys and, like, I vaguely saw, like, an elephant or something like that. Like, not even really there, but just the image of one. And, um, so, I'm not really sure as to, like, the location of where I was. Okay. Um, so I'm not really sure what that was. I mean, I definitely saw like, what did I, like I wrote down like Alpine Hills or something like that. So. Yeah. Seems like the area where I, I thought I was versus like a monkey and an elephant are two completely like, unrelated, but maybe like that was the other life with the purple on that kind of was like, okay. you know? Would you like to have spent more time in the, uh, in, in the different life where you were purple and, and so forth? Yeah, that was... I think I feel well. I knew I knew so little about that one, but um, I think I was more like intrigued by the the princess because I was a princess. Of course, I wanted to know more about that one. <laughs> but um, it seems like there was something that had like something that well, obviously in every life there's some like there's some dramatic stuff that happens, right. and it seems like I was like really slowly getting there in that one, like really slowly. But like if I tried it like, you know, three or four more times, then maybe I would eventually get to more like personal right. issues. I guess I and then the um the last one I was in was like that seemed, for the most part, pretty happy. Okay. Um, I'm not sure about that one either. That, like, like, I'm not sure about that one. That one actually might have been like somewhere in, in England, like on the harbor. Okay. I think it's like sometimes it can be difficult for me because you know I've only lived in America, so it's. Like the conscious part of me is only associating like where I am with America if I can. Right. I mean, clearly a castle, I can't really do that, but right. you know. I 
this is what you were expecting when coming to them? <laughs> Not at all. <laughs> no, it's like, uh, I've got like, you know, the, the, I really wanted to go to the, the pil Pilgrim one because right. that one like had the most issues. But, um, I thought, I thought that was where you were talking about too. Yeah, but apparently, I don't know, maybe like, maybe my subconscious doesn't, isn't really ready to see that yet. Oh, my bigger is more like this and, and what you just experienced. Yeah. Or like right now in my life, especially maybe. True. Like back then, you know, I was so... It's less dramatic. Yeah. This time, but. Yeah, like that was before I had changed so much. I mean, even though it was only like, what, five, four months ago. Right. But at that point, I was at a completely different place in my life, like emotionally and mentally. Right. And versus now I have more like positive Outlooks on life. Yeah, and you, what you saw, that's why I was thinking you saw a lot of perfection of, of your current life right now. And, you know, it's, it's, it's sounds like it's more, what's that? It's like being treated like a princess. Being treated <laughs> like a princess. And just happier and calmer. Yeah. And things are happening smoothly. I saw a lot of flowers, too, so, and then versus that's last nice. time. Yeah, it was nice. <laughs> Yeah, you know. <laughs> okay, I was still with your mom, but yeah, we could just chill. <laughs> well, thank you so much for coming. Thank you.